editing out bad takes and silences in your YouTube talking head video can take you countless hours. But what if I told you you could do this in less than half of the time by using an AI tool? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I easily save time with my editing workflow and use that save time to focus on being creative. All right, guys, let's get started. So the AI tool we'll be using today is called Blink AI. And I got to discover this AI tool through Premiere Basic channel. If you use Premiere Pro, this is a great YouTube channel you need to check out. This is a great tool for YouTubers and also for video editors who happen to edit YouTube videos. And check this out. You get to use your first project with all the pro features for free. But guess what? I managed to get a good deal for you guys where you get to use two projects with all the pro features for free by using the link in the description box below. So when you open Link AI desktop app, you're gonna find this window. So from here, you can click here. It's gonna take you to a folder where you can bring in your videos, or you can go directly to your folders or your finder if you're using a Mac system. Click on the video and just drag that video in this very space. From here, you can change the title of the video. So let's just go with any title. I can go for test. Then you can choose the language you are speaking in the video. I was speaking English, so I'll select that. Then from here, I can click on continue. On this window, I make sure I select these two options. With these ones, we can add them later on in the timeline. Or also, I can add it in my editing software I'll be using for this video. From here, I can just click on enhance and edit. And remember, you can use all these features on two projects for free by using the link in the description box below. And it's gonna open this window. And so far, this is one of the simplest and easiest app I've ever used. So from here we have the script that transcribed from the video and the text with the gray are the bad takes and also the silences that Glink AI cut off for you. And when you look down in the timeline, you can see it shows this gray color on this side too. So those are all the bad takes and also the silences it cut out for you. So I'm going to play and show you guys how it looks like. You can see all this side, I was quiet. Okay, let's do this. What? What's going on, guys? What? To calm down your work editing. So you can see this was a bad take and all this side were some pauses and also bad takes I was saying in the video. So from this, I'm gonna show you guys, if you're playing and you wanna skip all the cuts that it did, you can just turn it on on this side and it's gonna skip all that cuts. Now let me take it to the beginning and show you guys. Okay, let's do this. What? What's going on guys? Welcome. You can see it jumps straight to the clean version that you have in the timeline. Also, if you don't want it to be showing in the timeline, you can just turn it off on this very side and it's going to show you only the clean takes in the timeline. So from here, this very first take, I don't want it to be showing. Let me show you, play and show you guys. What? we can use the script to edit out those bad takes. So you can easily select the word or the words that you don't want it to be showing. Then click on this cut icon and it's gonna cut that out for you. Also, if you wanna cut out this very line, that's the sentence, you can just click on this icon and it's gonna cut that out for you. And when you look in the timeline, you can see it cut it off. When you make a mistake and you wanna go back, you can just click on undo and it's gonna take you back to the previous version. Now when I play and show you guys the clean take that we have. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to use Glink AI tool. So you can see it only gives you the good take. So imagine if this is one hour raw video of your client video, you need to edit. This is going to save you lots of time right from the beginning. So you can use that save time to focus on being creative. So if the cut pace is too fast for you, you can go on this very side, click on pace, and from here you can slow it down on this very side. Or you can speed it up on this side too. Also, if you really want to dial it in, you can click on this advanced icon. And from here, just take this off so you can add some frames to the start of it. And also you can add some frames to the ending of it if you want the cut to be a little bit slower. 
from here you can just click on apply and it's going to apply to that and now some great features that comes with Glink AI when you click on enhance you can see these three options with a smart captions if you want to add captions to your videos you can just turn it on then from here you can see the captions that it comes with when you click on the captions itself you can choose the caption style on this very side too if you want to tweak the caption style a little bit you can click on this plus icon then from here you can choose the font style you want to use and also the font size you want to use and if you want to add background and all that you can do it on this very side too but once again i only use glink ai tool to do the rough cut for me so i don't need captions i'm gonna turn it off then jump cut zoom i'm gonna show you guys just turn it on so if i want to add a jump cut to it i'm gonna make a cut on this side just click on the video then click on the split icon then when you look down here you can see it has this magic pen tool so with this i'm just gonna click on the incoming clip click on this magic pen tool then make sure you turn on jump cut zoom and remember you have to turn it on on this side before turning it on again on this side then if you really want to zoom it more you can just do it on this very side now when i play and show you guys to use Glink AI to, to cut down your edit you can see it gives this jump cut zoom effect for you right with this Glink AI tool but mostly I like to do all this in the editing software so I'm just going to turn it off on this side then if you want to remove some noise from your audio in the video you can just turn it on on that very side too but once again I like to do all these things in my editing software so I'm going to turn it off then when you come to AI assistant this another great additional feature that comes with Glink AI when you click on that with this title generator that's one thing I use a lot to get some title ideas let me show you guys click on that and you have to connect your YouTube channel to make this feature work for you so this uh, YouTube channel that I have will Joey on YouTube and it's gonna give me an idea of how I can title my video if you're not happy with this you can just click on regenerate and it's gonna create a new title options for you from here you can just copy this title and use it on your YouTube videos and when you're done you can just click on export so with the export I use Final Cut Pro DaVinci and also CapCut when it comes to my editing software so first of all I'm gonna show you guys with Final Cut Pro Pro, it works the same as DaVinci Resolve. Later on, I'm going to show you guys with CapCut if you use a CapCut to edit your videos. So with Final Cut or Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve, you can choose XML file. Then you can save it at where you want to save it. So choose the folder or finder you want to save it. Then click on save. So now we are in Final Cut Pro. Open the library you want to import that XML file go to file import and then select xml from here go to the finder where you have the xml file and click on import then when you double click on that then let me play and show you guys what's going on guys welcome back to another video so right here you can see if you had one hour video it's gonna bring in the clean take or the good take right inside final cut pro and guess what guys if you want to stretch the beginning and the ending of the clips you can easily do that because it was an xml file we can easily do in final cut pro just stretch the beginning and the ending and that's one good thing about xml files so now from here that's where you'll be creative and add some effects and b-rolls to your videos now to those of you who use CapCut, when you go to export make sure you select video mp4 then go to the folder or finder you want to save the video at then click on save so we are in CapCut now go to the finder or folder where you have the video this is mine and just drag in CapCut and that's one thing I wish CapCut could introduce so you can import XML file that would be a great feature for CapCut so from here you can add your bureaus your sound effects and color grade your videos if you're interested in Glink AI you can click in the link in the description to know more all right guys catch you on the next one peace